Hello and welcome back. I really must apologise for the audio quality. I am quite a very new Let's Player, so I must apologise for that and I hope you can bear with it until I get myself a new microphone. Right, so here we are at the character creation screen. Now as you can see, this isn't the standard creation screen. As I am, I am playing, like you say, a mod which is called Live Another Life, which is an alternative start mod. Okay. So, who's our character? Well, we've got to think about this. You know, I want him to be a mage, a mage oriented character. Okay, so, do we, do we go for the standard high elf, which is really, really good, or an orc who just likes to bash things with conjured swords and, and axes and things? I think, to be honest, we're going to be a Breton. I think a Breton's an all rounder for the mage. They've got very good uses of spellcraft. They also boost, or boast, sorry, resistance to magic. And they are also quite strong, strong characters themselves. I guess this is going to be our Breton. Right, we're going to have him as a male. Probably choose a, a random preset class that looks kind of magey. Obviously, I'm going to change it slightly. Let's have a look. I'm thinking. I think I'm going to go for him. He looks kind of like he's been out in the wild for a bit. He knows a bit about magic. You know, things like that. So let's just do his skin tone. Uh, somewhere around there. Now, even though he's a mage, I do like my characters to be quite big and beefy. I, they should be. They come from Skyrim. It's a harsh world. It's a harsh place. And I think they do need to reflect that that it is such a hard and hot and horrible place to live with untamed beauty and untamed wilderness all over the place right so our head complexion I want to be quite a young young character I bet he does have a couple of scars let's have a look at the scars I'm going to take that wall paint off I'm not a fan of it at the moment so we've got a nice, nice scar down his left eye would indicate he's been in a couple of battles there, but I think that's too prominent. Let's have a look, see what else he is. Be nice if there's some sort of like burn, burn mark where he's been trying to use his, his magic. See that one's not too bad, maybe a little bit too small for him though. No, I, I, that one I think indicates it's been I had a couple of battles with wild animals, cats, wolves, foxes, bears, because you see a lot of them in Skyrim. Let's have a look at the water paint, because some of the water paint can be really, really good. Now I'm going to change it to quite a bright colour so I can see it. Ah, that'll do. Um, let's have a look. Alright. See if there's anything. Obviously, these are all for the reach a lot of the time. Um, but there's quite a, there's a couple of unique ones. I mean, that's it looks like a tattoo. Not a, um, there's nothing taking me fancy. No, I'm going to leave the war paint off. Right, let's have a look at his face. Has he got face ache? That's a big question. Well, I think his nose is fine. His jaws all right. Cheekbones fine. No, his face ache is fine. Have a look at his eyes now. As a mage, I I feel that I want them blind because as a mage, it's not it's not all about sight. It's about perception and your your feelings and your emotions. And I think if you're blind, your emotions are heightened. Now, I mean, I could have them black eyes, but I don't like that so much. I might have them blind in one eye. I think again if he's blind in two eyes it just looks he looks soulless if I have him like that doesn't he he looks soulless it's, it's almost as bad as having as pure black eyes which would be good for an Argonian or a Khajiit maybe but not for a Nord or a Breton or an Orc or anything like any other character like that so I'm have a blind in one eye see if he's got any blue eyes let's have a look there we go yeah. It's a shame. We'll have it like that then. Eye height, that's fine. Eye width, we're closer together. He doesn't wear eyeliner. 
I don't know why he's wearing eyeshadow. What sort of man is he? His brow. Get his eyebrows done. See big bushy ones. There we go. Get them up a little bit. That's fine. His mouth. Um, let's have a look up here. Right, that's better, isn't it? Bring it down a slight touch. Right, now let's look at his hair. Right, that's his goatee. Hmm. Now, I want quite longish hair because like, he's a mage and everyone has this perception that a mage should look like Gandalf or Dumbledore with long flowing white, white hair. And everyone has that perception. And I, I kind of, I wouldn't say I agree with it, um, but I can I can kind of understand why everyone's got that perception. Uh, I want to. He looks like a a mage sort of character, but I don't know. I don't want him to be the the total stereotypical looking mage. You know, he's quite a young character, so why would he have white hair for a start? So I'm, I'm going to change his hair colour. Um, but I do like how he's got a knot in his beard. Or one like that. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. Let's change his hair colour. Let's see what he's got. We can have him blonde. He's quite young, so he wouldn't have white hair yet. But I think he should have quite light hair. Let's have a look. No, I feel a bit blonde because. Like that. So he's quite young. He's got blonde hair, which will turn white very, very shortly. Okay, now he's a Breton. Now, finishing name your character. Okay. Things so are, we've got to think of a name for him now. So, let's say, talk about a bit of his background as well. Once we've chosen his name, we'll talk about a bit of his background and as to why he's came to this world. But we'll choose his name, we'll finish it off, and then we'll have a second video which we'll talk about his background, his interests, his likes, why he's came to this world, and what sort of start we're going to have. So, he's a Brenton. So, let's have a think. Skyrim, it's Norse for Norse mythology, Nordic ruins and things like that. So it's obviously, hmm, let's have a look. Oh, let's try and have a think. It's quite a difficult one because I don't want to be called a, a normal name per se. Hmm. Let's have a look. I mean, I, I know this is like. Could have Steve, but he's from another Let's Player, what's called Gopher. He's a really, really good Let's Player. He does a lot of mods as well for Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas. Please do go and check his channel out. Um, Josh is too Easternized, I think. Peter? Peter. Yeah, let's go for Peter for now. There we go. Right, so we have just completed the very first video of our Let's Play. Okay, so that's just very finished. You can see I've got on the top of the MCM, which is the mod management system. Um, I will go through the mods I've got on. We will put them on in the next video as well. And I will try, if I remember, to list all the mods down I've got. Right. All right then. That's the intro video and the character making complete. See you in the next video.